the authorities built greenhouses for growing tomatoes. Each has a modest home attached. The greenhouse just used for migrants from the grassland. They tried, but not to make enough money. So also they are not used to that kind of life, so they just leave it. They think maybe cost is too high. The electricity, the water, they needed to, needed to pay it. Yang and Gan are one of the only three families still here. Originally, 24 were assigned to the greenhouse venture. The others were from the desertified areas, used to an open-air lifestyle. All have given up after less than two years. Nobody seems to know where they've gone. The government isn't the only organization now involved in trying to find ways for people and fragile land to coexist. C. The Society Entrepreneur Ecology claims to be the first truly independent NGO in China, funded by China's newly rich entrepreneurs. It's pioneered the creation of a community whose power will all come from renewable energy, so that the Saxol trees can recover as a barrier to the desert. If little else, the steppe is rich in sun and wind resources. <laughs> Mm. Mm. This is solo stuff only for boiling water oh. or sometimes oh. stew, meat, beef. It's quite, uh, it's nice. Which is okay when sun's out. But if not, then the scheme includes collecting down to produce cooking gas from biogas generators. It wasn't working when we filmed. Bali calls a meeting, together with the sea organizer. The problem here is that biogas, the crucial alternative to cutting down saxol trees, isn't popular with farmers. Jeanne from C is trying to convince them. One problem is why not use biogas? They think it's a, a drop, they need a, biogas need a lot of uh, dropping. They say they have no time to feel the droppings. God said they're too busy. And, and say biogas, uh, it, it works, but it does not work well. It can only can cook for two people. If more, we cannot afford it. No enough energy for cooking. Bali's tried biogas but can't face the job of scavenging the steppe, collecting widely scattered animal droppings. Uh, not, not used now, because they're busy, no time to feel animal drop, dropping. And anyway, why would farmers want to be gas engineers? But then, how are you going to stop farmers cutting down Saxon trees? It's um, just a space for storing droppings. C has been working in Alashan since 2004. Environmental improvement can only happen, they say, by getting agreement and understanding from the farmers, not by the usual communist top-down way of doing things. All the rules are formulated by the local villagers and put the, their fingerprint on the contract on the agreement. That means you have to follow because all the rules are formulated by yourselves. If you run out, you, you can use solar, you can use gas, you can use other energies, but it is, it is your decision. No matter how, you cannot chop the, chop the Saxon trees, that's the rule we have to follow. Despite C's protestations of there being community involvement and thumbprints on binding contracts, the problem has to do with giving a real say-so to the farmers. And in rural China, empowering individuals is a new concept. It all comes down to making the poor real stakeholders. That's what's always been missing here. But people now own their lands. And unless they get fully behind biogas, tree planting and all the other measures, the desert will win. 
in Alashan areas, uh, most of the farmers can get subsidy from the government every year for their benefits. This is basic support from the government. We believe this policy can be sustained. Another one is you need to train the farmers, help them find a good way to support himself. The most important issue for China is the population, I think. And uh, all the land degradation, or you call the de desertification issues, are root caused by population. Because people have to live, people have to need food, need to need to, uh, you know, few wood and and many things, and need development um, opportunities. People have been living there for for generations, and it's hard for them to to be off the land. 尽管我们现在在阿蒙搞这个治理的人,我们也认识到了。Gradually, gradually, they already realize not, that is not a good way to improve people's living standard because that kind of exploitation land destroyed the whole ecological system. Uh, what we can do now is just lock the board of the desert and not to let it expand. We come to Alashan for villagers on the front line to see if there was any success in stopping the desert, expanding, even shrinking. But if Alashan is typical of dryland China, it's difficult to be optimistic. I cannot help thinking we haven't yet come to terms with this unfolding environmental disaster.